way for? It's just a cellar, what's up with you? So what's all this? If you drag me down here for this, Giovanni's sorting it, ask him. Well, I want to know what's going on in my pub. Your pub? Mm -hmm. Well, I want to know what's going on in my pub the other day with that kick-off. You know what, Amelia, she deserved it. No, she doesn't. You don't bring things like that to this pub. Do you realise she could end up suing you, suing me? We could lose everything. In fact, you know what? It might be a good idea you finding a place of your own. Hey, Jill. Giovanni. Oh, I'm sorry, Rob. I was miles away. I can see. So what's bothering you? Oh, well, I was just dipping my thoughts. So. Oh. Penny for them. What? Sorry. Penny for your thoughts. It's um, just to say, never mind. I don't know what it means either. So, what's bothering you? Well, I was just thinking about life, the world. How one day everything seems to go wrong and you reflect on your life choices, wondering if you've done the right thing. And then, suddenly everything changes. For better or for worse? Well, for better, I think. Me and Ryan have started things up and Andy made me manager of the pub. I cannot believe how my life has turned full circle now. I was ready to return to Italy field love, field career, but now... See? Never give up. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. You know, when you feel you're at rock bottom, there's only one way, up. So just remember how you're feeling right now. If you're ever feeling at rock bottom again, just remember this, this feeling right now. Well... I don't want to be rude, Rob. Listen to yourself. Take your own advice. What? I've seen you, Rob. You are always so sad and... I know you had problems and you ended up in the hospital. I really don't want to be rude. But I don't want to see you like that. Imagine how Anna must feel to see you. Point taken. Please, Rob, for me, for Anna. See the light at the end of the tunnel. Things will get better. It's so dark in here. What is going on? So that's where the switch was. Gary, what are you doing here? Is Sue with Mr. Clint? Well, in a way, yes. But it's two days before he comes to get his profits. I need more time. It's nothing to do with that. I do have a job for you, though. What job? I need you to gather a hair sample from chat... Mr. Clint. It needs to be the whole thing. You mean pull hairs out of Mr. Clint's head? Are you mad? No, I'm psychic. Anyway, you pull this off, there's going to be a fair amount of money in it for you. How much are we talking? This has a start. I know you're in a lot of debt, so I'm guessing a suitcase full of these after you're done will change your mind. Okay, I'll do it. Anything else I can do? No, but remember, I need the entire follicle, roots and all, or the whole exercise will be pointless. Mr. Clint will be coming in a few days, so get ready. See you sometime, Ryan. Yeah, see ya. Daughter Anna. Delighted to meet you, Anna. And you. Okay. Now, the little problem of Mr. Clint. Not such a little problem. He's been running rings around me. 
Not for much longer. Mm. And why is that? The application for the possession order is both drafted and lodged with the court. No, I'm not it. We will get a hearing date soon enough. He can defend, of course. A temporary reprieve, at best. A matter of weeks at the most. And that's it? Yes. That's brilliant. I don't know how to thank you. Prompt payment of my bill will usually suffice. Of course. So that's really it? Mm, yes, it has its moments. Can you tell me more about how it all works? Pop in for a coffee sometime. Always happy to help. Jack, you have to listen to me. I had no choice. Yes, you did. You've you 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 no idea. He threatened me, so. I'm sorry, Jack. Please come back so we can talk Never. about this. Never talk to you again. Talk to me. <laughs> 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 oh, he's here, Mr. Lava Lava. Oh, stop it. What have I done? She's not in, is she? Yes, she is. Do you want me to get her no. for you? No. Vero! <laughs> no, she's not. So, what were you thinking? Trying to cop off with Beryl? I wasn't trying to cop off with her. Well, why did you snog her face off her? Oh, Andy, don't. I don't need to be reminded. Tough. You're going to have to see her sooner or later. What are you going to do? I know. I was drunk. I was having a good time. I'd have kissed anybody in that moment. Even you. Cheeky get. <laughs> oh, how am I going to get out of this one? I don't know, mate. Really. I've got problems of my own. It's your problem. I know. Oh, hiya, Beryl. Look, Cousy. 